I just got this box in the mail. Came via the U.S. Post Office, Postal Service. It's a uh, it's a radio tra uh, radio transmitter and receiver and a couple other things from Hobby King. I'm gonna unbox it. Looks like it's boxed up pretty good. I don't even have a clue how to get it open. It's Saturday, uh, August. Second, twelve fifty seven. There's the uh, Turnergy transmitter box. Some packing stuff. I hope they sent everything because I supposed to get some more stuff with it. Okay, I'm in luck. They did include the other stuff in the box. Hobby King didn't screw up. I did, and assuming that they did. So here's the other stuff I thought I was missing. It's the uh, pins. It's a pin block for uh, the multi we I'm going to put the accessory pins on it. So we got that. And this is connectors for the uh, transmitter wiring and stuff. We got that. And there's my prop balancer. Which uh, I would have really been mad if I wouldn't have got that. I really was mad there for a minute. Okay, there's the, uh, that's the receiver. Eight channel. It's kind of big, but hey, what the heck, it'll fit. That goes in on the multi wee copter. And this is the radio transmitter. Right here. 9 channel turn G 9X version 2 mode 2 I'm almost done and I gotta put batteries in it a battery in it and uh, then I'll be ready to test it out and that's about it for now my latest modification to the multi Wii project uh, is I put all the serial port pins in, I put the IS2 or the I2S pins in or whatever they are, the ISP pins I put in in case this thing ever breaks off I can get an adapter and still plug into USB right there on those six pins I put these pins in, that's for you can use, use them for a buzzer I think or a, those six right there. Buzzer or LCD readout. Um, and I got two more serial ports up here that I put four pins in each end. So I ended up adding a total of six, ten, eighteen, twenty-two, twenty-six. Wow, twenty thirty thirty-two pins it looks like. I don't know. So I put 32 pins in that board, and the, basically what that does is it allows for future expansion on if, let's say, they come up with some kind of new feature on their open source software, I can go ahead and implement it, because it will have a pin. Anyway, that's it. There's the back side of it now. These things were a nightmare to solder in, because the plastic on them wants to melt right away. I got a piece of crap soldering iron, it doesn't work very good. You gotta get them all in line for them to fit on the connectors and stuff. But anyway, this that six one went on pretty damn good. The cereals didn't go on too bad, but those right there, those gave me a pain. I don't know, they they were just a pain. Uh, I, I don't know what I did wrong on them. Uh, they're all fairly straight in their own plane, <laughs> but compared to each other, they they're a little off. But that doesn't matter as long as the plug will fit on them. So, hopefully I got it so a plug will fit out. Okay, there's my prop balancer. Uh, I bought it 
from Hobby King. It's real cheap. And what you got to do first is you take one of these spinners off each. You take one spinner off and leave the shaft on. You don't have, you don't have the prop on when you do this. And you find the heavy spot on that. And it turns out that was the heavy spot. So you file off a little bit, sand it off, whatever, and then you get it so it's, it doesn't have a heavy spot. It just rolls around. Same thing with the other one. So that when you roll, roll them together like that, it doesn't matter how they come together, it's not going to be a heavy spot. Anyway, that takes care of the balancing of the balancer. Then you want to balance your propellers. Now what you do to do that is... Uh, I think I screwed up on this one. I put it on the trailing edge. You put uh, some tape on it. To balance it, basically. This one used to be the heavy one. I had to put tape out here to balance the two together. So, when it's like that, it's balanced. You should be able to flip it over. It should stay balanced. And it does. Now, now that one of my motors burnt out, uh, I'm not going to even bother putting this thing back together right away because I can't do anything with it hardly. Um, I might hook everything up and radio uh, three of the ESCs in. But as far as the fourth one goes, I can't do a darn thing because that motor burnt out and I'm waiting to, to replace it. Anyway, uh, this board right here used to be mounted with these bolts. And uh, these bolts are the reason I'm not replacing it right away. Uh, I got one more order coming from Hobby King. And in that order, there's going to be some nylon stuff, nylon hardware to hold this in place. So, spacers, 20 millimeter spacers, so three M3 uh, by 8 bolts, and some nuts. But anyway, that's what's going to happen to that. So as soon as I get that stuff, that's going to end up back on there. And by the way, I have to get these out of here. There's two more bolts that are going to go. In order to get them out, I have to take the bottom back apart. Down here, i got to take this plate off and drop the ESC out of the way. And i got to do that anyway to put the new bolts in. So this whole thing's going to come back apart basically before it ever gets up in the air. You know, uh, the motors will stay out here, but uh, obviously that motor is missing because it burned up, cooked up a storm last night. And I got my receiver, mounted it right where I said it would, and the battery fits in there right, right, real nice, so that's all ready to go. So all I gotta do is wire it up to the multi wee and I can't do that until I put it back in. Okay, I got it all back together temporarily. I still have to uh, install the shock absorber underneath the multi wee and all the nylon bolts and everything that's coming down the road. But uh, I wanted to see if I could get the receiver working, and I managed to do that. I'm not binding it right now because. I don't have eight batteries in my transmitter and apparently the LiPo that I got is only going to be good for this craft. It's not going to work on that transmitter. I have to apparently I have to figure out which one it's actually supposed to take. But anyway, I'm going to plug it in and we're going to watch the receiver do its thing. Okay, this was a total nightmare. But I finally figured it out. Most of the problem I was having was what the settings in an Arduino. Um, but now that I got them right, uh, I, I actually have a remote. I armed, I managed to arm the ESCs and the motors. All three of them, what's left, are spinning. The problem I'm having is the one over there. It's, it's puking out like the other one did, I think. And. Uh, in order to make it spin, I actually got to go over here and give it a kick. Once you get it going, it spins and it, its throttle responds. But, you 
you drop it down too low, you gotta restart it by hand. So there's something wrong with that motor apparently. But anyway, the other two are working great. I've heard about these cheap Chinese motors giving people problems. People problems. And they're only ten bucks a piece. That might be my problem. But anyway, I got all three. What's left of the? I had four. One of them burn up. I got two out of the three working great. And one of them sort of half-assed. Like I said, I'm getting two more motors in the mail. I'm just going to replace that one and replace the one that got burned up and see if we can't just get this thing to work. But at least I finally got the remote working, which was a big hassle. But once I figured it out, I could see what I was doing wrong. All right, I'm going to run through the Arduino settings that I had to do to get my transmitter my my actual radio working with the uh, multi Wii software it was a bear because you can't just flick it on and expect all of these uh, default parameters to work because they don't I guarantee they don't you already from the start you have to set up and define quad X that's defining something is where you remove remove these two lines once you remove them it highlights gets big and once you get everything highlighted and big like that you know you need, you go up and you compile it. But we're not going to talk about compiling right now. I've already done that a few times. But anyway, so you got Define Quad X. Now on mine, uh, with my GUI, it didn't look happy. With nothing was nothing was lining up right with minimum min throttle and max throttle. It wanted 1,000 min and it wanted 2,000 max, so that's what I gave it. it comes out when, when everything's centered, it's 15 like it should be. So they, they give you some kind of crazy settings in here. You're allowed to change that. Uh, I just define min throttle at 1,000, define max throttle at, th throttle at 2,000, and everything seems to be working out. Min command, same thing, make it 1,000. That's, that's what I did. This was 950 or something, and nothing seemed to want to work like that. So I just screwed around with it until I finally got a setting that made it work. Okay, to define that, blah, 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 F, F, blah, whatever. That's that's the actual name of my board. So you got to have that highlighted. If you don't have that highlighted, you're not going to be able to do anything. So that's just part of the settings. All this stuff's only if you got a special board and you have to, and you got uh, all. You got a board there where you have to hook up all your uh, sensors and stuff. That, then you start defining this kind of crap. But I, mine's everything's on my board, which is a good thing about the board. Okay, let me see. I didn't have to do anything with the PID, the yaw, or any of that crap. I probably could uh, reverse the yaw. That's something I haven't tried yet. I could reverse my yaw direction, then it'll arm going the right way. You know that? Well, yeah. So if I, I define yaw direction. Huh. Needs fixing move to wiki. What the hell? Oh well anyway I'm not going to do it right now but I might end up go ahead and change that one parameter from I don't know it says negative one. It must be plus one to go the other way. So I might do that. Then, then here's where I had a lot of problems. You have to define one of these. Either yaw or roll. You had to define allow arm. And I wasn't doing that for a while. It, both of them were the two lines in front of them. Anyway, that's part of my problem. I got the, that set to line, align, allow arm via TX yaw. So what happens when I hit my transmitter, I go down and to the left. It arms. Go down to the right, it's safe. Um, it's supposed to be the other way. It's supposed to be down to the right safe and down to the left arm. I mean, down to the right arm and down to the left safe. But uh, I can probably change that with that, like I said, with the yaw direction. I don't know if I want to yet, because it works fine the way it is. Uh, I don't have any servos showing up on my screen, on my, um, on my GUI. And this is probably the reason why I haven't defined anything for servos. So maybe that's my problem there. Uh, airplane. 
that that had a bunch of stuff defined and it doesn't need it it's not an airplane so I it had flaps and flap 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 around invert those were defined so I undefined them uh, what else did we do here collect the pit straw I didn't do that didn't do anything with any of that RC system setup oh here's something this was defined. Defined serial sum PPM. Pitch roll throttle blah 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 blah. For some high tech Samura and others. Santra and others. Well, let's read right here. It says the following lines apply only for a specific receiver with only one blah 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 blah. Well, my, that's not one of my, that's not my receiver. So what I did is I undefined that. Finally, I got rid of that. And then I defined PPM on throttle. Anyway, that's what finally got the damn thing working. I couldn't get that thing to work for 20-some hours. And I was practically pulling my hair out till I undefined serial sum PPM, pitch roll, throttle, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I did all this stuff before I compiled it, too. Okay, it's not a spectrum, so you don't have to do any of that crap. Uh, I didn't do anything with that. Nothing that you have to do up here. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. All that stuff you just leave the way it is. Optional features. This is where you get into GPS and stuff. But mine's already set up. So, uh, for some reason it's working really good and solid. It hasn't messed up on me at all. I had to define the baud at 57.6, it wouldn't work at 115.2, and it says avoid using 115.2 right there. So I didn't. Then yeah, I originally you have to define this, compile it, um, upload it, then you go back and you undefine that, and define that, and then upload it, compile it again. And compile it and upload it. But I'm not going to show that right now. I've already showed that in another video. Okay, basically, then we're almost done here. All that stuff. Uh, oh, I had to go back. I had to reset my... Uh, part of the problem I was having was the software I was using. Apparently, just didn't... Oh, it wasn't working right. So I had to go and re... Um, open up a new version of it. And uh, then I had to go back and reset the magnetic declination for my area, which is negative 6.9 F. So, we got that all fixed. And then, down here at the very bottom, you've got something about ESC calibration. Okay, I, I can tell there's something wrong with one of my motors, because when I go set that, two of the motors do the calibrate and the other one just sits there and coughs it just doesn't want to work but anyway you define it cannot fly take the props off then you compile it run it and it'll run all the motors and if none of them if one of them ain't working right you can tell right there and that's what's wrong with mine right now I need to replace two motors and then I'm ready to fly but anyway, you did a, I did all the all this changing, everything that I changed, I went back up here to the top after I changed it, and I hit compile, then I hit upload, and then it ran down through the USB port here, down to the multi wheel which was sitting on the floor, and it uploaded, and updated all the firmware on it, and everything's been working right since. I got remote control, I got the radios functioning properly, does the throttle, does the yaw, everything. If you change any position on the stick, it changes something on the copter, on the motors, so that was the secret, getting everything set right right here in Arduino. Burn up. I got two out of the three working great, and one of them sort of half-assed. Like I said, I'm getting two more motors in the mail, I'm just going to replace that one and replace the one that got burned up and see if we can't just get this thing to work.